Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will see how to import and modify a file in Tinkercad. First of all, as always, let's create a new project by clicking Create 3D Design. We change the name to Lesson 3. And we go on. To import a file, we will just need to click the import button. Here we will be prompted through various options to import from our computer and from an URL. And the supported format for the files are STL, OBJ and SVG. Today we will focus solely on STL and OBJ to modify a 3D structure. But let's see what an STL and an OBJ file are how to distinguish them and how to choose which one to use. An STL file is a file that represents a 3D object by using triangles with defined normals. Has a limited support for color and texture, but is also a very light type of format and is ideal for rapid prototyping and 3D printing. On the other hand, an OBJ file contains more geometry can retain the texture, the color, and the material information of the object. It supports te texture mapping and also is a text-based format. That means it is easily changeable by coding in the text editor what you want to modify of the object. Now, let's see how to download something that we can modify. Today, as an example, we will see how to download a file from Thingiverse, a very popular 3D printing community, for free and easily. Now, click on the link in the description to um, get the same file we will use today. Once the page is loaded, here we are. We can go to Files and click on the Download button the file will be downloaded, in this case an STL file. Back to Tinkercad, we can click to choose a file, this will open our file interface, we can go to download and click the file we just downloaded, we can click open and choose how we want the file to be in the program, in this case millimeters, scale 100%, and here we can modify the dimension. Let's click in import. Once the file is loaded, we can see it in our interface. Now our file is considered like a basic shape, so we can modify it like one. For example, if we want to change the dimension, we can just click like a basic shape on the handles and change it, for example, to 60. This means that we can also modify it by using the basic shape. For example, we want to, if we want to hold it, we just place a cylinder, we change the dimension, like for example to 4 mm, we place it better, we align it with our um, shape, so we take it like here, let's make it a little bigger, like uh, 20 millimeter. Okay, and we can hollow the object, select both, and we will create an hollow in a new, in our imported file. This can be useful to simply modify something to obtain uh, just a, a slight modification of the file, of the original file, but also can be um, a useful tool to dimension it really quickly as we have seen and to send the file we want to uh, modify to uh, the much complex and more professional software Fusion 360 that is like the uh, older brother to Tinkercad. To do this we just need to click send to and here we can choose to send our file directly to Fusion 360 through our Autodesk account so we will click and uh, here we can um, modify the name and choose the directory of the file. For this quick video, it's all. 
For more video like this, follow JBDTube.